All right, so here's a review of the Milwaukee soldering iron, the cordless one. So I've had this for about six months now and I use it uh, pretty much every day, pretty much every day to solder anything I need like speaker leads or um, harnesses into vehicles. I work on uh, car audio. So a soldering iron is pretty important to me and I was helping a customer basically who cut off his harness his factory harness into the factory radio. And I was re-soldering on a new harness and midway through this soldering iron actually broke on me. And uh, I have nothing wrong, I have no problems with the soldering iron. I actually love Milwaukee. I have a bunch of their tools. Like for example, I have this one that I've owned for about a couple months now. And this is absolutely my favorite impact. I have a ton of their batteries, a ton of their tools. I absolutely love Milwaukee. Now, I do have a problem whatsoever with this tool breaking on me. I don't know if that's the life expectancy of it, but it only lasted me not even a year, like half a year, I would say, this lasted me. So I'm moving on to a new soldering iron. My new soldering iron is the TS-80. So it's a beautiful little soldering iron here. Let me get some light on it. So it's a beautiful little soldering iron. Um, it has an LCD screen. It actually shows you the temperature of it and it's programmable, which is interesting. I've ordered a case and a new tip for it. So I'll make a review on that when I get those in. So it comes out and the tips are really easy to replace actually, it's just plug and play. So I like that part, let's try and do this on the video. Sorry I got a stuffy nose, I have really bad allergies. But this is probably gonna last me a while. What I currently use with this one is, actually let me show you the issue that I have with this soldering iron currently. So. It says it should take 18 seconds to heat up. Now let's count that from on. 18 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That is 18 seconds right there. So let's feel the tip. Let's just see if I can touch the tip. So it, obviously if it's at like 750 degrees Fahrenheit, I wouldn't be able to touch a tip, but nothing, nothing. It won't heat up at all, no matter how long you leave this. I have left it for an hour and it will not heat up. It is just, I don't know if this is like a problem with their starting irons. I haven't taken this apart or anything. I've rarely ever dropped it. I don't think I've actually ever dropped it. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Pretty much, it's just dirty, that's about it. And I usually keep it in this position right here when I'm soldering. I use it for alarms, speaker leads, radio harnesses, pretty much everything. So I've been using this quite heavily and I loved this while it was working, but it no longer works sadly. So I've moved on to a new one. The T. Whoops. The TS80. Beautiful little siren. Let's just compare size right here. I love things that are smaller and more compact. Just a comparison of size. Here is the battery I use with the TS80. It's a My Charge aluminum case battery. It's just a simple one, 60 bucks at Best Buy or 50 or something like that I plug it in using the cable I got with my smartphone version 1.7 I've updated it online already and this thing let me just show you how fast it heats up I have it in Fahrenheit not Celsius and you can customize that too and uh, it also has like a sleep and wake setting so like you can probably see the smoke. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there is smoke coming from it already. And so I've had this for about a couple weeks now and I love it. It actually heats up, I feel like 
hotter than my last one. See, that's max. And then once it gets up to nine volts, it should stop blinking. It even shows you the voltage right there. It shows you that it's still heating up. It takes a while for the battery to warm up. But yeah, that will burn me if I try and touch it like I did the last soldering iron. Beautiful soldering iron. I love this one. Beautiful design. So small, so tiny. Absolutely love this soldering iron. Let's let that cool down. And actually, this part right here, you can touch it. It's not as hot as the rest of it. You can't, and it's only at the tip and right here where it is hot, right there. So I also like that. Crazy size difference, so much smaller.